Hello, friends, and welcome back into the Alabama Football Report. Coming up on today's show, we have some Alabama football injury news on two notable players, some Terry on Arnold hype and talk around the Crimson Tide, and we'll discuss if this team is ever going to really use Justice Haynes on offense like we thought they were going to entering this season. So do you want more Alabama football videos? If you do, then like this one right now. The more likes we get, the more videos we can do for you guys moving forward. All right, two injury notes to update you guys on here for this upcoming game for Alabama against Arkansas. Malachi Moore is going to be a game-time decision slash questionable uh, with an ankle injury. Again, it's college football. We don't really know what that actually means. It could mean he's not going to play for sure, or maybe he actually is questionable. Maybe he's going to play. So... Who knows uh, from that front? Meanwhile, punter James Burnup with that leggage issue is also a questionable game time decision. Here's what Nick Saban said. We're preparing as if neither guy would be able to play, but I can't say that emphatically. Allow me to translate. Them dudes ain't playing. Now, maybe I'm wrong. Would like to be wrong. But it is not often you see a coach say, we're planning on them not being there. Surprise, they are. Normally, it's, it's the opposite uh, because of gamesmanship and, and whatever. So I would not anticipate having Malachi Moore or the punter out there, which could make for some weird moments on special teams. At least there is depth in this Bama secondary. Here's what Jalen Key said about, hey, next man up mentality on this Bama defense. What's it like? He said, quote, we kind of pride ourselves on everybody being ready to play. Everybody being uh, pretty much, everyone pretty much can play different positions. Whether it be Terry and Arnold going to star, we got guys like Earl Little that's ready to come in to the game. We've got guys like Christian Story that can come in and play both safety positions. I played a little star during fall camp. So there's always that scenario that can come up in the game of football. We always prepare for it. This is exactly why Bama added some transfer guys, Trey Amos and Jalen Keat. So when it comes to the Malachi Moore injury, are you worried against Arkansas this upcoming week? Why for yes and for no? We'll make this question the pinned comment on this video. So if the ad comes here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there and go vote. Why for yes and for no. I want to spend some time here on Terry on Arnold, where I'll throw in allegedly, but I don't think Cole Kubik's really a liar at all, so it's probably, it probably happened, that Coach T-Rob said on Arnold, quote, he'll be the best corner in America one day. Now, I assume we're talking college football and not NFL. That might be a bit too much. We're talking college football, so I assume that's what it is there. Arnold's been really damn good this season. Uh, talk about a player who took the, the, the step forward that I, we were hoping for and maybe didn't think was going to happen, if we're being honest. He's at a 42.9% completion rate. You're under 45. You're playing great football. Allowed 166 yards this season. That is it. He's got one interceptions. Six pass breakups. The McKinstry-Arnold tandem has been really great this year outside of maybe the Texas game, which your safety's had some issues on that front there. Has there been, and you can feel free to chime in your producer first too, has there been a more improved player on this Bama team in the past calendar year than Terry on Arnold? What he was back in 2022 versus what he has become now? I think mean, there's been some breakout guys. You know, your guy, Amari Nyblack, certainly checks that box as well. Jalen Milrow checks that box. But we're talking... Malachi Moore, also a good one. We're talking about a guy that was kind of benched for Eli Ricks, which, not to get too mean to Eli Ricks, that's a whole different saga and drama and story that just it, save it for, I don't know, the Eagles channel, I guess. I don't know. It just kind of is what it was there. But I have been very impressed with the way Terry on Arnold has fared this year at cornerback and hopefully will remind us all that we should be a little bit patient with some of these guys that don't have their best stuff right away. So grade Terry on Arnold so far this season. A, B, C, D, or F. Please get those votes in for me in the comment section right now. Let's talk running backs here. Um, you know, what's going on with Justice Haynes? His red shirt's been burned, so that's, that's the reality there. But he hasn't played that much on offense. And I fully know how important special teams is. I, I get that. I acknowledge it. You also do at least run the risk at minimum of burning and wasting a year doing that. And this is a player, we'll go more into this, we were excited about. They said this player had 
all of the spring and fall camp buzz. Well, it's kind of died down in the fall because I get he was a bit nicked up. But now he's just like not playing on offense. And when your ground game, maybe could could use some help. We're going to come back to this here in a moment. But today's show is made possible by Prize Picks. Prize Picks is the largest independently owned daily fantasy sports platform in North America. They are the easiest and most exciting way to play DFS. It is you against the numbers. Instead of battling thousands of other players, putting pros and sharks to pick more than or less than on two to six player stat projections, and you watch the winnings roll in, it is simple to play. You can make your picks, submit an entry in less than 60 seconds, if you know what you're doing, and turn $10 into 250 bucks just like that. Now, there are some college games you'll be able to make selections on uh, that have not updated quite yet. Those should be available in the next day or so, or depending on when you're watching, maybe even already. Here are my NFL picks this week. I like Trevor Lawrence more than passing yards. He's going to air it out. Kenneth Walker, more than one touchdown on the ground. He'll probably have like 13 carries for 40 yards and two scores, knowing how that offense tends to run. And Cooper Cup will be peppered with targets. So give me the more than there. Uh, maybe I'll pick more than Jalen Milrow passing yards. Maybe more than Jason McClellan yards on the ground if that can get going for the Crimson Tide. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. The link will be in the comment section and the description of today's show. Again, that is prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. Back to Haynes. You've got someone here who, in a very small sample size, has played well. Got eight carries, 51 yards, a 6.4 average. That Those are good results. Again, it's only been eight carries, but it's the type of player that makes you go, you know, do you want to give him the ball a little bit more? Should, should you find a way to feature him a little bit more frequently, given how much hype there was around him in the spring game? You know, Roy Dell Williams has had chances to get big carries and then kind of faded away. They went back to Jace McClellan. He's averaging 4.6 yards per carry. That's not bad. And may, maybe I am just caught up in the spring hype for Justice Haynes, but he looked really good out there. And now he can't get on the field? That's, that's weird to me. And to be clear, when it comes to your ground game overall, the O-line has not helped. Uh, they have not been nearly consistent enough to maximize your runners. I also don't think Roydell Williams has been consistent enough to make things make sense. While we're on the topic of backs, we should at least mention Jam Miller. You know, he has also not played very much. He's actually gotten more chances than Justice Haynes has this year. Although it's not been good. Although most of Miller's chances have come in garbage time when teams know you're going to run the football, so it doesn't really mean that much. For the purposes of today's show, we'll group him into the Justice Haynes conversation, although I would rather see more Haynes than I would Miller. So what do you guys think? Do you want to see more of Justice Haynes and or Jam Miller on the, in this offense moving forward? If you do, spam me in the comments section. While you are down there, make sure you are subscribed. And if you made it to the end of today's video, you guys are a real one. And you are now the first to know that for the Alabama-Tennessee game, we'll have a watch party for you guys. The first one in channel history. Producer Chris is very, very excited about that. So make sure you guys are subscribed. It'll be a blast right here on the Alabama Football Report.